Hey Stampers, Kim from StampingImperfection.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm making a card for this week's Atlantic Hearts Sketch Challenge. This is for the week of January 18th. This is Sketch 404 and it's a nice, quick and easy one. Three images in a rectangle with a sentiment. Very simple. So I've got a card base I cut at um, five and a half by eight and a half and I scored it four and four and a quarter and then I've got some bright spring cardstock colors that I pulled out of a six by six paper stack and I'm going to use the Scrappy Tails Crafts Spring Essentials Metal Die Set. You can see that there are flowers, lots of greens, some eggs, and a couple of different butterfly images. So I'm going to pull out the larger butterfly image with the body of the butterfly. And then I have the Slimline Pop-Up Box Craft Die. And I was excited to get this Slimline like card pop-up card die set um, to use it, but I've been using all of those great word phrases in there. So I'm going to make a thank you card. So I've cut a piece of green cardstock at one and three quarters by five and a quarter. The yellow is one and seven eighths by five and three eighths. And I'm just going to start by layering these two together. So this will serve as the base for my butterfly. So this is very quick and easy. And I used almost all of the cardstock. I have a little bit of the um, purple left and a little bit of the pink left, which will be saved in my craft stash. So I'm just adding these onto that rectangle and I'm just using some art glitter glue right down the center of the body. And I probably should have started with the center one, but I'm just putting the glue on the body so I can pop up those wings. So my card will have a little bit of dimension. And if that center one overlaps the other two, I'm okay with that. So I'm just dabbing up the glue. And now I'm gonna add some, um, I have these Derice really thin foam strips that will give the body even more dimension. So I'm gonna use those. I really like these, they're very thin and I got this one on a little crooked. Um, but they're very thin, they're you know pre-made. It came with a package of two, um, cards cardfuls of these and it's just these are just really handy to have it's hard to actually cut down larger foam pieces to get to thin strips so it's nice to have these in your stash so I'll go ahead and add those um, bodies right to the center of the butterflies and I I'm just trying to trim off because I got this foam crooked I'm just trying to trim it off a little bit where it's going to show Super easy just to pop these on. And I'm just kind of, you know, um, putting the pink and the purple, and then I'll put the pink on the yellow and the yellow on the purple. I wanted a bright and colorful card. That's all I wanted. And as soon as I saw these bright cards, I thought of this butterfly from this stamps, from this die set. And there's no stamping on this card. So I also die cut the thank you out of each one of those. Um, different colors like all four of the colors and I glued so far I've glued three of them together so here I'm just adding the panel to the front of the card and I put it a little toward the top I just liked the way that looked better and I decided that I didn't want the sentiment I didn't like the sentiment on top of the images so I'm going to put it below and I just want to show you that I'm just dabbing on some putting little dots of this art glitter glue with this fine app applicator bottle, this is really nice. And then putting the, um, I'm stacking them together, but I'm offsetting them a little bit. So I'm like moving the green one to the right of the other ones. So you can see all four colors of the um, papers that I use to make that thank you. And I like that, so. It, like I think it's just so nice to have a die set or dies where you can make a card this quickly. I'm just going to use my tweezers. Oops, I'll have to wipe up that glue. A little klutzy. This art glitter glue is really nice. I've only had it for 
a week or two and I love it. Like it wipes up nicely. It also dries clear so you can't see any residue if you, you know, some smushes out and you miss it and don't get it wiped up when it's wet. And that is going to complete the card. I'll put all the links below or the link below to the two die sets that I used here. Please give this video a thumbs up and if you are not a subscriber I would love to have you subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you get notifications every time I upload a new video. And um, you can stop by ScrappyTalesCrafts.com to check out those die sets and all the other stuff they have in the new January release. I'll also put the link to the Atlantic Hearts um, sketch challenge. It's a weekly sketch challenge and we would love to have you join us. Thank you so much for watching my friends. Have a great day.